What's up YouTube, it is me MadnightXYZ bringing you another exclusive Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one's versus my best friend, aka rival, LoganBox1. He doesn't do Pokemon Wi-Fi battles um, for YouTube, but he does them a lot over Text Plus, and I think he's on some other chat forums, you can probably look for him. So anyway, he starts off with a Power on. I predicted that, so I went into my Coconut straight away, and he's gonna be scared as hell, cause he does not want to take any kind of grass move. So he goes into his Heat Ran, of course. Sadly, my Sleep Powder missed, cause I knew he was gonna switch out, so I wanted to nullify whatever he brought in. Sadly, that missed, but oh well, I do not want to take a Lava Plume or a Fire Blast, so I bring in my Aqua Marvel, knowing he'd take anything and scare that Heat Ran out of here. First of all, he does not go for the fire type attack, so that's telling me, oh, okay, is he carrying it or just doesn't want to walk himself into that? So considering that he is about to switch out and use the hidden power of ice, that tells me, okay, he's probably a revenge killer. So he's probably going to be wielding a scarf, and that's hidden power of ice most likely, because it's going to be super effective versus my executor and not effective versus my mind loaded. So anyways, he brings in his own master to take that water type attack. Um, Since it's inside the sandstorm... It's gonna not do that much damage to him because he gets 50% rock type um, special defense boost from the sandstorm. So he's gonna try to start setting up on me. So he goes for the cell smash. I'm like, um, all right, that's not really good because um, the cell smash on my star is gonna be doing some heavy hits. Like, even if it only has like earth power as it's a, a move that does not really um, now my, my loader doesn't really resist, it's still gonna do a fair amount of damage, so I just wanna get it out of there anyways, I go for the Dragon Tail, boom, he's done, brings in that good old Rhydon of his, he's like, oh, come on, I wasted that entire turn to set up, and my White Herb, and he just brings in my Rhinoceros, <laughs> or my Rhydon, <laughs> Rhinoceros, but anyways, I'm just gonna go for the Scald again, Scald again, because I'm like, okay, whatever he brings in, he's gonna get burned, because he's not gonna give up his Rhydon just like that, because he knows, one scald, like four times effective with stab, and my Lodic has a pretty decent special attack stat, so yeah, he's just gonna fart off his Omastar star because I'm faster than him. So second hit, boom, he's done. Omastar star is out of the way. Never was that much of a threat, but if my Lodic was gone and he had a shell smash up, yeah, that would be pretty damn threatening because it might be able to outspeed my scarf. Um, Needle King. So he goes into his by sharp. He goes for the protect just to scout out what I'm gonna be doing. Of course, I'm gonna be going for the skull because I know that by sharp is a physically offensive Pokemon. Therefore, if I get the burn on it, it's rendered totally useless. So he's pretty much gonna go for the sucker punch over here, and I know that it's gonna do a fair amount of damage because it's gonna it's friggin' high base attack power. It might be orb or something like that, maybe banded. Um, so, I mean, it's not bad because he's protect, but it's, it does a lot of damage. I just go for the skull, try and get the burn on it. It's gonna be a solid to it kill on this guy anyways. So, uh, of course, um, this time I'm actually gonna be using Recover because he's gonna be scouting out with my next move. So, I get my health back, he wasted the turn using Protect. I mean, he, was, he wasted the turn using Sucker Punch, so that's great for me. He was trying to faint me, but I'm like, uh-uh, nah, you ain't, you gotta be very desperate, but you ain't killing my beautiful aqua marvel so it's fully healed up and i want to switch out and go into my aggro roar it's a big beast he goes to protect again it's like okay i do not want to take a next skull but no he's just giving me a bunch of free turns right now he brings in his i know i brought in my aggro and i'm just gonna go for the autonomize just trying to get my speed up because this thing already has pretty beast defenses so i can set up against by sharp and now i'm just gonna go for my own stealth rocks he's probably gonna go for a different kind of attack. He's gonna go for the Iron Head again. That's gonna that's gonna be doing some stab damage, but hey, it's not gonna faint me. So that's all that really matters. And he goes for the Protect, and he's like, okay, what attacks can you use? I just gonna go for the Aqua Tail because um, I'm not gonna try and use the Head Smash on him because it might end up missing, and that'll either bring me down to like low range HP or kill me if he use the Iron Head one more time. So yeah, I just go for the Aqua Tail the second time. Hits it, boom! By Sharp is gone. He brings in a Caesar next, so I'm probably thinking he's going to try and bullet punch me to the next dimension. So of course I'm going to try and go for the Aqua Tail, because I know I'm faster than him. Sadly, he actually goes for the setup move. Um, and my Aqua Tail actually missed. If that hit, that would have been... I got like 30, maybe 35% HP of his gone. So, yeah, that's kind of sad, but it doesn't matter because I have my KFC, as you all know, is a freaking beast. So, he's going to be really scared as hell, like, uh-uh. I ain't taking any hits from this guy, but no, he tries to stay in. I mean, he decides to stay in like, what, is he some sort of, like, monster? I just go for the Fire Blast. Caesar is not surviving that. Like, unless it's Rain with an Aqua Berry, Max Special Defense, Max HP, and I'm like, you know, all that stuff, like, there might be a chance, but 
now here with the life ward and the the nature and the EVs now. He ain't surviving that stuff. So he brings in his power on. And I'm thinking, okay, well I might as well get out of here because that thing threatens me with a stone edge. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Brings out my Milotic. I mean no no no. It takes out my KFC and I bring in my coconuts knowing that I could take any of his physical hits. He just starts setting up, I'm like, oh crap, that's not good because my Milotic is two I mean my Moltres is two times um, weak to rock type attacks, therefore it's going to take half HP damage when it switches in. So U-turn is pretty much rendered useless there. I just going to start setting up my screens. I was thinking he's going to switch into his heat ran, so I went for the light screen first. Um, so if you brought in heat ran, then I could set up my um, reflect or my sleep powder first and then reflect and then switch out. Um, but anyways, he goes for the earthquake, doesn't do much. I go for sleep powder just trying to know, find out things. Like he continues setting up and then switch out to someone, set up some boosts. If I have that many turns, that is. I know I will put up the Reflect, so I mean, that's gonna give me a pretty nice buff in my defenses, so I can take, like, one more hit, one to two more hits, um, that I will normally not be able to take, so that's pretty good for me. Sadly, it's if I don't wake up the first turn, I already got up my damn Reflect and my Light Screen, so I know that it's okay. Over here, he brings in my Sheer Toxin, I'm like, okay, I could stay in and go for the Ice Beam, but I wasn't thinking about the Reflect that I had up at the time. So I'm thinking, okay, all I want to, want to do right now is make sure that he does not land that Earthquake on me. And that was a stupid choice because I still could have went for the damn Ice Beam, brought the hip out on to down below half HP, and I would have been able to take the Earthquake because I had the Reflect up, but it's okay. Aqua Marvel does the job just as well, probably actually better because it's a Toxic Stall while getting the Skull damage on Hippodon, and his Earthquake will be doing super effective damage, right? So look at all the damage that his Earthquake does. Like, critical friggin' hit, and that's with a stab, 100 base power, hit power on, massive attack, earthquake, and it gets a crit, and that's all it does, just because of my reflect up. So that's pretty nice. I go for the recover, I'm like, okay, his next earthquake is not gonna do nearly as much damage, so might as well just restore my HP. So he's gonna go for the earthquake again, of course, and watch how much damage it does this time. Like, practically none. I'm like, ha 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 ha. The crit really does, like, maximize the amount of damage you can get, like, screw it, reflect and whatnot, like, it just does brute out damage. So, I'm just gonna be getting my leftovers, he's getting his leftovers, but the poison's also doing damage on him. I'm just gonna simply go for the skull, just trying to get rid of that Hippowdon, because, I mean, it's not like a big threat, but it just wastes all my power points and all that stuff, and I get the crit, I'm like, oh, snap, oh, okay, sorry, bro, because, I mean, crits, uh... I mean, in this case, it didn't really matter. Sometimes it really does. Like, I mean, all he really would have been able to do was another Earthquake, so it's not like it was the end of the world there. He brings in his Heat Ran. I think I saw my light screen up, so if he has Earth Power, yeah. It's not going to be doing much. It's not even stat boosted um, on the other hand, so yeah, that does nothing. I just going to go for my Recover, boost up my, um, my Special Defense. I mean, no, boost up my HP all the way up, and then he's probably going to go for the Earth Power again. He's, I think he's Scarfed. Or, wait, yeah, yeah, he's probably scarred because he's in Specs. Because Specs probably would have done a bit more. My last screen wears off now, so let's see how much it does. Well, most likely double that because it halves the damage, right? But, yeah, yeah that's definitely not, that's definitely not um, Specs damage. But anyways, I go for the Skull, just two-hit kill that Heat Ran of his. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much all great from here. I know he's going to be taking some damn rocks damage next time he comes in, so I'm just going to let him go ahead and go for the earth power from now, so that I can just dragon tail him out, and then next time he brings him in, he'll be killed by stealth rocks. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty great. I know it's not very effective, but next time he brings in the rocks, he'll be dead. I mean, next time he brings in his heat ram, the rocks will kill him. So it brings in his right on, that's all he has left. I just want to faint it, like, ASAP. So I just want to get my skull going on that right on, so I can just get it out of the way. Because it still does pose a threat to my other Pokemon on my team because I also can't want it kill Rom um, Rhydon even with a plus two um, superpower. So yeah, I'm just glad that a skull just ultra effectively killed that Rhydon of his and it is just out of my way. It was kind of in the back of the game. So I'm wondering was that like his banded Pokemon that he could just bring in and wall up anything with? And sadly the rocks plan did not work. Um, it did not kill him, but he ran away anyways because he knows that next turn he would have been killed. So, thanks for watching. Please sub.